Good morning, everybody! How are you today? This is Teacher Anne, and today, we are going to discuss new lesson in mathematics. And that is all about ordinal numbers. Reading and writing ordinal numbers from first to one hundredths. And if you are willing to learn, all you need to do is to finish this video. This topic is an example of a lesson in mathematics. Our male competency identify the ordinal numbers from first to one hundred. Read and write the ordinal numbers from first to one hundredths. Our topic to be discussed this morning is all about ordinal numbers from first to one hundredths. Before we formally start, let us have a review. Arrange the following numbers from least to greatest. Write your answers on your paper. Pay attention kids on the set of numbers on your screen. Arrange the following from least to greatest. Write your answer on your paper. Here are another set of numbers for you to answer. Arrange them from greatest to least. Write your answers on your paper. And now, let us move on to our next activity. What's in? Let us try! Picture of children lined up after another. Read the name and ID card number of each pupil below. Kizo, Lady, Shan, Nika, and Arkin. Together with their ID card number. First question, arrange the children's name according to ID number. Arrange them from greatest to least. Second question, who is the first from the left? Third question, who is the third in the line? Fourth question, who is the four children from right? And fifth question, who is the second children from left? Have you answered it well? If yes, good job kids! And now, let us move on to what I know. Multiple choice. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper. First question. How are you going to write 33rd in symbols? Letter A, B, C, or D? Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Question number 2. What are the three ordinal numbers that comes after 90th? Is it letter A, B, C, or D? For our third question, what is 97 if written in words? A, B, C, or D? Question number 4. What is 25th if written in symbols? A, B, C, or D? Lastly, number 5. What is 80th if written in words? After we had answered the questions in our activity, now let us move on to our discussion. 
Before we discuss about ordinal numbers in this module, is it important to understand the following terms used in the course of lesson? Numerals relates to numbers, and, we say, and when we say ordinal, it relates to order or position. When we say superscript, it is a letter written immediately at the right of the character. It is a set of slightly above the normal line of text and it is usually smaller than the text it was attached. In the symbol first, the letter ST are written as superscript. When we say point of reference, the point or object in which the order of counting starts. And to introduce to you what these ordinal numbers be like, we can easily cite examples like the alphabets where letters are being arranged in a specific order. Here is a chart of Filipino alphabets from the first to last letters. How many letters does a Filipino alphabet have? If you know, write your answer on your paper. Here are the list of Filipino alphabets. The alphabet is composed of letters in a fixed order. Notice that the arrangement of letters indicates the position or order of one letter in relation to other letters. Just like in ordinal numbers, there are numbers that indicate the position or order of an object or number in relation to a point of reference. When objects are placed in order, we use ordinal numbers to tell their positions. Just like this example. This is a list of ordinal numbers from 1st to 100th. Notice that in writing ordinal numbers, we use numbers combined with letters ST, RD, ND, and TH as superscript, just like the examples. And in writing symbols of an ordinal numbers, apply the following rules. For numbers ending in 1, connect with letters ST as superscript. First, twenty-first, thirty-first, and so on. For numbers ending in two, connect with letters ND as superscript. Second, twenty-second, forty-second, sixty-second. For numbers ending in three, connect the letters with RD as examples are third, thirty-third, fifty-third, seventy-third. For numbers that ends in 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0, use the H as superscript for numerals. Example, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 20th, 50th, 40th, and so on and so forth. Following these rules, we will be able to write ordinal numbers in symbol properly. Let us move on to the next part of our lesson. What is it? Activity 1. Here are some numbers. All we need to do is to change them into ordinal numbers. Number 1. 34, 21, 45, 73, and 16. Let us move on to our next activity. What can I do? Activity 2. Integration English Reading Read the following words in 5 columns and answer the activity that follows. Write your answer on a paper. Here are the list of words that will serve as a guide in answering our question. Pay attention! From the list of 100 words in the previous page, consider the order of reading downward from left to right. 
Then, write the ordinal numbers of the following words below. Your teacher will give you a copy of list of words on a separate sheet of paper, so you can answer the question. Have you answered our activity correctly? If yes, good job kids! To increase our understanding, answer this activity 3. Change the following numbers in ordinal numbers. Write them in symbols and in words. Your teacher will provide you a copy of this activity so you can answer it well. All you need to do is to change number in ordinal symbols and in ordinal words. And now, let us proceed to what I have learned. What are the things you remember? Ordinal numbers are numbers that indicate the position or order of an object or number in relation to a point of reference. To write ordinal numbers in symbol, use superscript letters. ST for numerals with numbers ending in 1. First, ND for numerals with number ending in 2. RD for numerals with numbers ending in 3. And TH for numbers or numerals that ends in 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. And now let us move on to assessment. Let us find out if we learn our lesson for this day. Direction Fill the blanks with the correct ordinal numbers in words or in symbol. Write your answer on your paper. All you need to do is to complete this column. Your teacher will give you a separate sheet of paper for this. Lastly, here is additional activities that will improve your understanding about our lesson for this day. Complete the table by writing the correct ordinal numbers. our discussion for this day thank you kids for watching and tuning in to our video lesson for this day i hope that this lesson will improve your understanding on mathematics and if you want to watch more of our videos you may like our facebook page teacher ann alfaro or visit our youtube channel team ruan tv don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Click all to get updated on our latest videos that we are going to upload. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye for now.